have my guest here, Arisha. She is a very good friend and fellow photographer. If you want to go ahead and tell us a little about yourself. Thank you so much for having me, Jess. I'm very excited to be here. My name is Erisha. I live in Leesburg, Virginia. I'm 45 minutes from the great area of Washington, D.C. I have been doing photography for nine years, and my focus currently is on families and weddings. I can be found on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Not the best at TikTok, but we're getting there. So for today's video, we are going to ask some questions and get to know each other a little better and you guys get to know us as well. So we're just going to go ahead and go right into it. Perfect. All right. I'm excited, Jess. Me too. <laughs> okay. So our first question is, what made you get into photography and why did you start? Yes. So it was a happenstance with getting into photography because of my daughter, Olivia. So she, um, when she was younger, I always took her to Walmart to get her pictures taken and then eventually they closed. So then the only other places that were left were really expensive places that wanted you to buy ridiculous packages of pictures that I was not going to use. So I just said, yeah, forget it. I said, this is a great time to actually get into photography. I've always loved photography. I've loved and really it started with architecture. Um, so I said, this is a great time just to get into, um, get the camera and just start learning. So literally it was because Walmart closed down and I still wanted to take pictures of my kids. So I said, I'm gonna do it. So bought my camera. It was like cool this is this is how it's gonna be and it just kind of went from there so posted up her picture on on social media and literally the next day people were like oh do you do photography and it just kind of it, it just was like a, a off the chance walk here you go yes I'm sure I do so that's really it, it just I, I fell into it literally <laughs> that's how did you actually get started into photography all right so my answer would be so I actually grew up behind the camera. Well, I guess in front of the camera. If I think about it, it's the other way around now. Mm -hmm. But um, my parents used to have uh, video cameras Aww. when I grew up. And they would film everything. Aww. They would film like track and field events. Oh, that's nice. Um, when we go to the zoo and we walk around, they would film us yeah. and stuff like that. And I think my I think my dad was a little more into the the film and um, taking the photos, yeah. and that's kind of where I I got used to being behind the camera, mm -hmm. also known as in front of the camera. To me, it's behind because I'm <laughs> on the other side now. Um, yeah. You're behind my camera. Yeah. <laughs> um, so my dad just used to take a lot of pictures, a lot of videos, mm -hmm. and then as I grew older, I would start playing with the cameras and oh. be like. I like the art and I like to see things different. I love nature, so my pets were the first things that I photographed. Oh. <laughs> um, I used to take a lot of pictures of my pets yeah. and then also um, used to live in South Africa, so a lot of birds and wildlife um, was my main focus when I grew up. Mm -hmm. And then in high school, um, my dad was like, well, I, it was my last, I think it's like my last year of high school, he was like, well, I'll buy you a nice professional camera if you want to start doing it more seriously yeah. so that's how I started doing it more professionally yeah but yeah. um yeah oh, that's great oh so I mean being in South Africa it's like I, the amount of things that you could photograph like I can't even imagine like that's probably the best place to start <laughs> right? you pick up your camera and be like yes I'm in South Africa so just the wildlife alone it's yeah beautiful Next question, what was your first camera? Uh, so my first camera, so I'm going to date myself again. My first camera, because I don't even remember, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a Canon, but it was like a really small one. And it was way back when you had to actually, I think, put a flash on top of it, but it wasn't like the flashes now. It's like a very small cylinder something or another. So. I don't remember the make and the model of it, but it was very, it was a teeny, teeny, teeny one. So I'm gonna go with, it was a Canon back then, but now I actually use a Canon 60D. Which camera do uh, you use, Jess? My first DSLR was a Canon 100D, oh. but it's different than the 
American one because it's a UK. Ooh, so I think okay. it's it's a rebel something. Oh, it yeah, was like the, the rebel, rebel one. Brand. Yeah. Um, and then I recently upgraded to the mirrorless, which mm -hmm. I love. Yeah. So That's yes, nice. if That's you wanna, if you wanna, stuff. if you want to upgrade, oh, I mirrorless. highly recommend going mirrorless. Yeah. Next question: Why do you love photography? Yes. Um, so photography. So I love photography because it actually brings out um, it brings out my personality. So when you initially meet me, um, you know I'm a, I'm a little bit of an introvert, but you give me a camera and you put me in a in any type of situation, and it just it brings out the person of who I really do like to be with uh, with my personality. But also, um, you know, I come from a huge family, so I love being around families. So for me with photography, being able to bring families together where, you know, they, they like, for example, my family hadn't taken pictures for years. Mm -hmm. So being able to bring them together for an hour and you get to see the interaction between them and the personalities, it just, I love seeing the connections between families and, and, and the interactions. So for me, if I can capture that and produce something to you where you can, you know, showcase it on your, you know, window on, on your wall or whatever like for me that that's why i love the photography like it just freezes that moment in time for you but it gets you all together you know and, and families you know how often do we really you know they mm -hmm. have time to get together all right so just tell me why you love photography when i work with clients and the goal for me is to capture it in a way mm -hmm. that is very unique to them mm -hmm. other people won't necessarily capture it that way and then also seeing how excited the clients get when yeah. they see the different mm -hmm. like different art you can make with photos and Absolutely. just angles and I think it's just the art of photography and the way that you can shape it into whatever you want it to be yeah. is why I love it so much yeah. and um, because my focus is more on business women it's very important to me to see how happy they get when they do get those photos that they want mm -hmm. and the quality and also the uniqueness and their brand Absolutely. and that is what makes me love it so much yeah. i think it's just seeing how happy they get mm -hmm. when i get to experiment with their mm -hmm. craft and my art and right. putting it all together and seeing yeah. what it looks like at the end right right i mean it just brings out like what you do and how you mm -hmm. interact with you know a person just you bring out all that inner stuff that you know that you just don't feel like you have. So mm -hmm. when you when you are behind the camera and you are directing, it just it's beautiful. Oh. It's absolutely beautiful work because it just you mean it just it's pretty. It brings out the, the inner woman. So that's beautiful. Thanks. <laughs> that was so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't make me cry. Who is your biggest? photography inspirations. So I um, love following his name is Keith Cephas. He is actually located in the Hampton Roads area. So he does amazing work with lighting, whether it's studio light, natural light. I mean, and just the way that he knows how to work harsh light and get that to work for his clients, especially. Um, so he does a lot with weddings. Um, and of course weddings, you know, you can't tell a bride when to, you know, have her day. So she's having her photographs done at 12 o'clock high sun. He just knows how to make that high sun work in his photos where it just, it makes every bride that I've seen look stunning. And I'm sitting here like, how, how did you work with that? So he knows really how to, um, to work with lighting and, and with, you know, photography, lighting is a key thing. Um, so with him. Just stunning work, beautiful. He's published in so many different magazines. Um, he travels the world, so I want to be like him. I want to be mm -hmm. a traveling wedding photographer, portrait photographer. So he's one of my biggest uh, inspirations um, of who I like to follow. Um, but just recently now meeting Miss Jess and knowing you for a while, you have also become a, a huge inspiration for me. Just looking at your work and, and seeing how you bring out those beautiful qualities in women. Um, it's just, it's amazing to see what you produce. And I love watching all your stuff and when you do your products and your food, like it's just, it's, it deserves to be in a magazine. So I, I follow you and I'm like, what is Jess doing now? What is she doing now? <laughs> so, so yeah, so that's the, you two are my biggest inspiration. Aww, so I, I love watching uh, all, all your stuff. So 
And who's your inspiration, Jess? So my inspiration is Pamela Hansen. She is, um, she was one of the very first women photographers like mm -hmm. years ago and she actually um, is um, taking photos of all those big um, magazine mm -hmm. um, companies and I'm, I love magazine photos. Yeah. Like when I take a photo <laughs> yeah. in my head, I'm like, can this go yeah. in a magazine? Mm -hmm. Her work and see how she like brings in colors and mm -hmm. different poses and different angles. Like right. that is what inspires me mm -hmm. to be better. Because I look at her work yeah. and I look at her career and I'm like, when I am like in my 70s one day, I want to mm -hmm. look back and like be like, whatever I did create mm -hmm. during my lifetime, right. like those are the pictures that other people will look at and be inspired. Right. Our next question, what have you learned over the years in regards of personal growth and your photography? So uh, <laughs> I'm still learning, but um, over the years I've learned to stop comparing my work. I'm still learning. <laughs> but that, um, you know, when you are creative and creatives are perfectionists so I have to tell myself and this is what I've, I've had to learn from day one is not everything's gonna be perfect but you will get there and to never stop learning mm -hmm. like you can master whatever technique but there's always still something that you can learn so for me it's literally just um, you know be easy on yourself uh, that has helped me <laughs> a little bit I'm still so hard on myself but I'm getting there, I really am. Um, but yes, to, to stop comparing yourself and if there is a nugget that I learn, I like to share it with other people. You know, so for me it's I'm gonna give back things that I, I learn. Mm -hmm. um, I just feel like when you help someone and they help you, that just helps you, that helps everybody yeah. grow forward in their business. So for me it's just share your nuggets. You're not giving away your secret sauce, you're just giving mm -hmm. a little nugget. And everybody deserves to have some help. So, um, and then Jess, what have you learned over the years? So, stop following the trend. Yes. Stop trying to take photos like other people. Like you said, don't compare your photos of other people. Because yes. um, yeah. everybody has their unique mm -hmm. vision and their unique eye to their photography. Absolutely. And if you're trying to follow other people, you're never going to be satisfied with what you're creating. So Absolutely. I think. Um, for me, it was hard in the beginning to be like, I want to be like that photographer mm -hmm. or I want to mm -hmm. take photos like this local photographer so mm -hmm. I can get the clients too. And I think right. um, I had to tell myself, it's not about me trying to be like that person because mm -hmm. their clients go to them because they are who they are. Exactly. And my clients will come to me because exactly. I am who I am. Absolutely. So I think that was my... The main thing is stop trying to be like someone else, stop mm -hmm. trying to follow the trends and mm -hmm. be unique and be mm -hmm. creative in your own way right. that you can put your own clientele. Right. Like even if it's a saturated market, mm -hmm. it's like there's a client out there for everybody Every and any photographer yeah. and you will find your client if right. you are presenting yourself in the way that right. you want your clients to see and also the clients you want to attract. Right, yeah, 100%, 100%. Next question, how would you describe your style? Uh, so my style, um, and you know, in, in true transparency, I'm still trying to define my style um, because again, being a creative, you like um, different things. So trying to narrow down your style, it's, it's challenging for me, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, you know, right now, the way that I shoot, it's um, very, um, it's very true to color. Um, I don't go too warm, I don't do dark and moody, so it's very true to color. Um, so with me, I'm, I'm uh, what you would call your traditional portrait um, photographer. Um, I do a lot more posed versus candids, but I do throw in candids every now and mm -hmm. then. But I'm what you would call your traditional portrait photographer. Um, There's other photographers who are more artsy and you know they do a lot of different things, um, especially when it comes to, comes to candids, but for me it's I'm, I'm that person where you want a nice picture of your family hanging in your you know hallway mm -hmm. you call me and I'm, I'm gonna do that for you but again very true color 
Um, you know, when it comes to landscapes, I'm a little different actually. Um, landscapes, I do like to do, um, I like to bring out the colors when it comes to landscapes, especially beach photos. You know, I like to bring out the blues and the sky and the ocean and things like that. So I do, I am a little different with landscapes. So, you know, again, it's me still trying to nine years still into the business, still trying to find like that sweet spot of my style. So, what about you? So mine, um, I had a hard time with this question because I'm like, <laughs> my style is just Jess. <laughs> I don't, Jess's style, hey. <laughs> I was just like, I don't know. Um, so I actually asked Ryan and I was like, what do you think my style is? And he was like, pink. And I'm like, I'm not talking about, <laughs> I'm not talking like about my friend. <laughs> God bless your boyfriend. <laughs> I was just like, okay. Um, but I think um, for me, I would describe it as a little bit, like it's not moody, but it's definitely a little bit darker, mm -hmm. very vibrant Ooh. with like a light, cool undertone. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, if people are like, are you light, light and airy or dark and moody? And I'm like, I'm, I think I'm in between. Mm -hmm but also not really so <laughs> I don't know what to tell you it's like just go look me up right just go look just look me up yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah so 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 I would define you definitely um, you know just as you said you're you're a little bit darker but the the way that you go darker you don't lose the um, the, the skin tone colors and things like that like it it almost kind of makes your it makes your photos stand out more so it's it's I mean, like it, like you said, you're you're definitely not light and airy, but you're not like super dark and moody. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah I, I mean, again, with you know me following your work, even with your your products and your um, food photography, you you have that nice consistency all across the board, which is is I for me, it's hard for me to be consistent mm -hmm. like that because I feel like my mood change or my editing changes on where I am. Yeah. So if I shoot a barn wedding versus a um, church wedding or a vineyard wedding. Like my style, it just, it's like this for me. So you've got that consistency that I'm only trying to get to. <laughs> but yeah, so, so yeah, I, again, I'm just a big fan, so. Aww. <laughs> that wrapped up our session yeah. today. I'm like, how are you ending your, your video? Oh, this is how we're ending. <laughs> I'm like, how are you? <laughs> I want to thank Arisha for being with me today. Yay, this thanks, was Jess. So fun. This was a lot of fun. And um, I also want to thank a wedding off, which is located in Leesburg, Virginia, um, for having us use this space. I will be back with another video soon. Maybe Yay. she'll be back in it too. We are going to let you go. Until next time. Bye. Bye.